Drivers who travel to and from between Milwaukee and uh, Illinois, uh, you'll not have a much smoother commute. The State Department of Transportation has now wrapped up that massive I-94 construction project. Our traffic reporter, Adriana Mendez, shows us the improvements that have been made. At Berge's Pub and Prime Restaurant, owner Melissa Berge has a front row view to the daily traffic out on I-94. It's never a slow moment when you look outside the window. Melissa says she's thankful construction on 94 has wrapped up because now it's easier for customers to get to her location. Well, it definitely impacted the business greatly between the on-ramps and off-ramps being closed for months at a time. And with the orange cones and barrels now gone, Melissa has already seen improvements out on the interstate. Well, we've definitely seen a decrease in the amount of accidents on the freeway. Making it safer for drivers was one of the goals of the $410 million project. The DOT just completed its last stretch of 18 and a half miles of interstate between College Avenue and State Highway 142. Eight lanes of concrete pavement, 12 inch thick, brand new bridges, brand new interchanges, brand new on and off ramps. We're really excited about the safety benefits that this brings to the corridor. According to the Wisconsin DOT, this stretch of the interstate saw about 800 crashes annually. But the department is confident the changes made will reduce that number significantly. We've got better access to the frontage roads when there's incidents on here, and it's just going to be a much, there's going to be less queuing uh, because of backup, so it's going to be much safer. And improved safety will translate to improved revenues for the Wisconsin companies that use this corridor to conduct business. There's already been $1.6 billion dollars of an investment as a result of what is what we've done here along this 18 and a half mile stretch. And officials say that will benefit not just Southeast Wisconsin, but the entire state. Adriana Mendez, TMJ4 News.